My name is Tyreek King. I'm a videographer from Gunnison, Mississippi, and you're not tuned in with the debut. This episode of The Debut is sponsored by Unheard, a platform for artists to showcase their talents. Book your live music performance today. Videography mean to me is like painting a picture, honestly, because it's like I can walk in a room with nothing in there and make something out of nothing. And then when you look at the videos, you'll be like, whoa, where they at? And we could be in a field and you'll look like we somewhere else. When I was little, my dad had this uh, VCR camera and I used to take that junk everywhere. Like we used to go to the Grenada Beach and he used to record everything we did as a little kid. I'm talking about everything. And then one day I just was at the Oktoberfest and he let me get the camera one day and record everything while he going to have fun. And I just felt in love with it and it just stuck with me from there. But I put it down playing sports and then after sports, I picked it right back up after I graduated high school. Okay, so shooting a cohesive music video. I can say, you know, the treatment, well, they can't hear you, I'm sorry. A treatment, you write a treatment, and then when you write the treatment, you basically break it down, and then the artist put his ideas in it, and then it all correlates together. It's just like, he know where he wanna shoot it at, he know what he want in it. They just say, if he want models in his video, boom, I hit up models. He want cars in his video, exotic cars. Boom, I hit the person that got his out of cars. All of it come together. And then when we all put it together, I get there, I shoot. Everything on point. And then after I go behind the computer and put everything together, it's like magic. That when the magic happens for real when you put it like in the post, if you know what I'm saying, like put it on the computer and edit it. And that's how you shoot a music video, a successful music video to me. <laughs> It's crazy cause my first paid gig was uh, when my sister was pregnant with my nephew. And I shot the pictures in a open field in the Mississippi Delta outside of Ruleville. And it was nothing around, but when you see the picture, you see nothing but a lake in the background. And I color graded the mess out the grass and stuff and made it look like it was something. Honestly, when I was in Seattle, Washington working at McDonald's and a guy came through the drive through with his camera and all that stuff. And he was going to a wedding. And I was telling him, like, I know how to do the same stuff. And he was like, man, I'm gonna go and make $4,000 off this wedding. And I'm like, dang, you making $4,000 off a of wedding? Man, I'm gonna pick up a camera. So I looked up the Nikon 5200. That was somebody had told me to buy on my first camera. When I looked it up, bought them up for like $300. And took off from there. What I learned capturing moments with a camera is memories. I have like, about five different people on, like, as an SD cards. I have like five different people on my SD card dead to today. And I can honestly just go back and look at it and be like, dang, dude really did it. Like, dude really passed away. So the memories. Yeah, like, <laughs> memories. It's crazy, cause I'm just in this industry cause of exposure, but honestly, I love doing movies. It just, everybody don't take that type of stuff serious. So I stick to the music industry until I get to a point that I have a team to actually do a movie. Cause you can't do that on your own. <laughs> my strongest drum, I mean my strongest genre would be drama. Because it, like, they catch everybody's attention. It's like that what goes on on social media, that what everybody into, like it'll catch people's attention. Where I look for as a location, as a videographer, to make sure you're not in your op hood. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be surprised who would literally shoot a video in a op hood. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Huh? Yes. <laughs> hey. I ain't going to lie, I work with a lot of artists with a bigger platform. It was like five of them, but I approach them just like I approach anybody else because you hear me just like I'm hearing. But at the end of the day, if I feel like you're going to try to play me because my platform ain't bigger than yours. So I'm going to come at you just the same way I come at somebody that's local around my neighborhood or something. Because it's like famous people feel like they should get something free out the videography, you know what I mean? You trying to come up, he already up. 
Hey, come shoot this video for free. Nah, I already got it in my head. I don't do nothing for free no more. I done learned my lesson. When you do it for free, they gonna want you to pull them out the blue, pull them out the sky, do all this exotic stuff, and you ain't even paying me. So, uh, <laughs> we good on the heck. <laughs> my future goal as a videographer is translate over as a actor because I went to school for acting. It just, the camera's still in my hand at the moment. <laughs> My dream camera is a red R or the red 6K <laughs> Dragon. Man, watch your surroundings. I don't care because this, this man is cool with you, cool with everybody in the hood. I don't care. Watch your surroundings because you'll end up in a situation that you'll probably got to be in a doggone courtroom or something. So please watch your surroundings. The better difference between being a videographer and a artist is that the videographer make a lot of money compared to the artist starting off because they had to put money behind promotion, behind cover art, behind beats, behind videos, behind photography. Like they gotta pay all them people. While we get like a four thousand dollar camera, I say, and get like a two thousand dollar lens plus the SD card and stabilizer and all that, I say we'll be out by eight thousand. And we can make all our money back less than four months off a of camera. While they still spending and spending and spending until they get a deal or until they actually come up and get paid out after music and stuff. The detail I pay attention to is color grading because that's one thing that my teacher stayed on me about because when I first got in class, I knew how to do everything except color grade. He wouldn't focus on my effects. He wouldn't focus on nothing but color grading. So it got to one point that I I started shooting in a flat form of a picture profile that it don't have no type of color in it. And I had to color grade everything on my own. And then when I started getting good at it, and he started teaching me more about it. And that's all I focus on is color grading now. My most memorable project that I've done so far is shooting pictures for Rick Ross in the photography industry and videography industry is the shoot I did with the Red Deshaun. What kind of artist make a videographer job easy? Hmm, the kind is willing to listen and don't think they know everything as in like videography. What you see in your eyes is not what the camera gonna see. And what we see on the camera is trying to explain to you and you up here like, I want it this way instead of this way and you wanna let us do our job, your video gonna go your way and we gotta put it your way and we can't do nothing else but put it your way. <laughs> My dream collab would be to work with J.D. Youngin, but I already work with J.D. Youngin. <laughs> is J.D. Youngin and another artist, like, with two artists? Like, I already work with Rick Ross, too. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm doing a video and it's the artist, I would literally, like, FaceTime them 3 in the morning when I'm done and let them look at this video before I export it, because videographers never sleep. Slick don't. Being a videographer challenged my view on hearing the song is because I gotta actually shoot this song and put up, like I gotta paint a picture with this song. So when I put on headphones and listen to your song, I need to have an image going through my head. Like you, nine times out of 10, you need to been wrote a story or something because I wanna actually have something interesting for people to see so I can bring your words to life if you get what I'm saying. So I have to bring your words to life. So when I'm listening to it, you shot somebody, hmm, I want somebody to play the person you shot. Or if I'm listening to it, you'd have been in a car accident, hmm, we gonna feel like you've been in a car accident, blood on your face, blah, blah, blah. We gonna bring your words to life. What inspired me to take my crowd more serious? Honestly, when the situation happened in December 2019, I put down my camera for like a month. I ain't gonna speak on the situation, but I ended up in an investigation room. So I didn't want to shoot videos no more. And then in January, somebody hit me up and said, let's go to Cali. I'm thinking they capping, because I ain't never got flew out. I got flew to Vegas one time, but that's it. I flew Spirit, first time flying. It is what it is. He flew me to Vegas. I mean, he flew me to Cali on United. So when I flew to Cali, started doing videos and stuff, Everything just took off from there. And then when everything took off from there, it's like, boom. I woke up and said, this ain't the end. Cause honestly, I was done shooting videos after that situation happened. 
videography that I look up to. Number one, Louis knows. Number two, uh, Cole Benny. I, I, I miss with Cole Benny. Number three, you running out. Uh, <laughs> I don't miss it. I just ran. I miss him too, but not on my top three. My third one is the one that shoot Gucci Mane video because he so like old school. He ain't changed it up. He's just him being him, and Gucci Mane really take care of his video art. I miss with that. Man, nah, oh God, <laughs> he'll pull up, shoot some stuff, keep it moving. <laughs> That's who I, I. I'm trying to name him. Jerry, J uh, J Jerry JP, what it is? Jerry Production. Jerry Produ yeah, Jerry Production. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mess with him. I mess with him. Bye. I mess with him. My favorite artist is outside of local or people I film is Lil Dirt, Rick Ross, J. Cole, Kendra Lamar. I'm a meditating person. When I listen to you, I want to feel something. I don't want to feel hype all the time. I want to actually vibe. I even listen to Tupac still. <laughs> That's a legend. I mess with him. <laughs> Real talk. Biggie too. Easy. -E. Snoop Dogg. You got to win. It's very important that you have a business mind being a videographer. Because when you're in a business world, you got to know how to talk to people. You got to know how to take a bad situation and make it good. You got to know how to control your attitude. You gotta know how to control your body language. Like a lot of people read a lot of stuff in the business world. You gotta always keep a smile on your face through everything. So having a great business mind in the business world is a great thing to have. Cause people do go off your intentions, your attitude. Like you have a bad attitude, they ain't gonna wanna book you all the time. Like my dog, I don't mess with your attitude. But if you always on your stuff and always trying to elevate, they gonna wanna mess with you. So basically, you gotta have some motion in the business world. Oh man, you can find me on Instagram at respect underscore D A underscore vision. You can find me on Facebook at Tiger King business business page King's Vision. You can find me on YouTube at Tiger King. You can find me all across the world with your girl. I'm just playing, <laughs> just playing. But I'm out though. Peace. Nice having me here. The beer. <laughs>